Fellow Earthlings, what's up? Today's video, we're gonna be doing a review on these shoes that I bought off of Facebook. I've had them for a week now. I've walked in them, I've ran in them, I've jogged in them. I will be doing a series on Facebook ads reviews, so I'll be buying stuff from these Facebook ads, like these shoes, and doing a review on them for you so that you don't have to buy them if it's not worth it. You know that the first thing we gotta do is the shout out of the day over there. Thank you to that person right there for commenting on my channel. And if you wanna be the next one to be shouted out, give a comment down below and you might just be the next one. The winner of the $5 bill is Jacob. Jacob Castello, you're the winner of the $5 bill. Let's get on with the review guys. We'll start with the box. This box is uh nothing special guys as you can see it's literally just a brown and black cardboard box uh, in my next video i will be doing a full unboxing of the product that i order i'm very sorry this video i didn't even think about that subscribe to this channel if you want to see some more of these unboxings from items from facebook and go ahead and hit that like button if you guys haven't done that already so that's the box, that's how it looks. It's nothing special and uh, definitely not high end um, by any means because I've seen some really fancy shoe boxes. Now let's get to the shoes. Let's do, let's get this $5 bill out of the way. Shout out to Jacob Castello for winning this $5 bill. And if any of you guys, any of my subscribers would like to win one of these prizes, just stay tuned. Every Monday I put out a video where you can comment down below the keyword in the video and you can win one of these prizes let's get on with the review for the shoes what you guys came here for let's start out with the overall aesthetics of the shoe it looks uh really cool and this is why i ordered them you know you just talk about something and it pops up on facebook that's what happened guys so and they look really cool and they looked really cool online too so on the top here it says my supreme is at home so i guess they're talking about like your supreme taco or something because i keep my supreme tacos at home i know that i love me a good taco um but other than that i have no idea why they wrote um my supreme is at home uh but the writing and like the ribbon that they did it in looks really cool with that black and white the overall shoe is made out of like this really um cottony fabric so you it's very like flexible shoe it fits my foot nicely um and the the shoelaces here they're pretty uh straightforward shoelaces with the plastic uh, uh covering on it's a it's called an aglet if you didn't know that guys that little plastic or metal piece on the end of your shoelace it's called an aglet <laughs> so yes um i learned that from phineas and ferb on, on uh on the disney channel Anyway, uh, y'all, these shoes have a uh, different sole than a usual shoe. So usually a shoe is, is bottom, uh, the bottom is solid, made out of like a rubber or a foam. This is almost like a hard, hard-ish plastic. It's like a softer, uh, hard plastic, if you will. Um, and on the bottom there, you can see there's actually like a separate, uh, different type of material right there that actually makes up the grip and these shoes separate on the bottom so it gives you lots of flexibility and when I'm running surprisingly um, I don't feel those so much but I would say <clears throat> as far as looks go this is a really good looking shoe and I would give a, I would give the looks of this shoe um, probably an A they did a really good job of the way it looks now let's get into the way it feels when you're actually wearing it because that's what actually matters guys is you know a shoe can look really cool uh, so as soon as I put these shoes on I could feel that the the padding on the inside is not as thick as I would like it to be it was almost thin enough to where I can feel these little uh, you know pieces of plastic that are kind of on the bottom of the shoe there I can kind of feel pressure in those areas if that makes sense you kind of have to feel the way this feels um, which I, I wouldn't say is completely uncomfortable if it had a little bit thicker of a pad in there these would probably be very comfortable shoes um, I went jogging in them and uh, they were nice they fit the foot nice um, they're nice and light they're not uh, super heavy but they're they're also not the lightest shoe I've ever held so this bottom piece definitely puts on a good amount of weight 
but um, like I said, the the uh, design here, the design is different, and I can't tell you that it feels any better than a regular jogging shoe. And uh, I don't know why they made that design if it was for just for looks or for like a better performance shoe or something, but. I haven't noticed any any kind of like unusual wow that's really springy or anything out of that it's kind of just uh, feels like a normal shoe except for at the front here where it separates you can tell that there's something different going on there when you're wearing the shoe they could upgrade the comfortability if that's a word uh, in there and uh, basically get a new a new uh, shoe pad in there what are those things called you know these little let me just see if I can pull it out real quick pull the pull the shoe pad out Come on, man. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, this is... Yeah, I would definitely buy something thicker. It looks kind of cool on the bottom, too. But uh, look how thin that is. I mean, that is a really paper-thin shoe pad. Um, so I would say upgrade this, and these would be a very comfortable shoe. So as far as being comfortable, I would give these shoes probably like a C. So let's move on to how I believe these things are going to hold up uh, for future use. And I will give you guys an update on these shoes because I'm going to be wearing them to jog in. I'm probably going to get some new pads on the inside like I said. But I will be using them to jog in so I'll let you know how they hold up and how they feel after a couple of weeks of uh, really wearing them in. But this is what I believe is going to happen. So I, I like shoes where I can't really see any glue sticking out of the edge on the, on the bottom. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but there's a bit of glue sticking out of the edge. You can kind of see where the sole has been glued on it. And uh, I just believe that that is a telltale sign that these shoes are probably gonna start just peeling apart from the tip uh, back, or they may, they may even come apart back here um, and completely separate from the bottom because I can see glue running up the side of the sh shoe just a little bit and that just shows me that these are probably just pretty cheap made in China uh, type of shoes so it's definitely not a high-end shoe guys it's definitely not something that um, would even probably beat out um, Under Armour or Nike but uh, maybe equal to because some of those Under Armour and Nikes are just made really cheap as well uh, Maybe even in the same factory so uh, Overall look of these things a uh, The overall uh, feel of these things the comfortability I would give like a C and uh, as far as them uh, lasting a long time I don't expect them to last a long time and uh, I don't know how to grade that so I'm gonna leave it at that. I do not expect these shoes to last a long time, guys, but they are really cool and they can be comfortable. Um, and if you, they can be comfortable if you get the, uh... <coughs> <coughs> uh, like I said, I believe they're $25, so I believe they're definitely worth what I paid. And uh, you'll just have to go out there um, after this review if you like them enough, buy them and try them out yourself um, or not. I hope everybody's liking the new different videos I'm bringing to my channel and they still bring value to you. And uh, if you do like them, make sure to hit that thumbs up down below. I appreciate all of you, all of my new subscribers, old subscribers, all of my subscribers to come. Don't forget guys, if you stay tuned to every video on Monday, you can win one of these mini prizes. And uh, all you have to do is comment down below the keyword that I ask in the video. Make sure that you are subscribed down below, you hit that like button, leave a comment if you would, and even share this video. Thank you guys so much, and I appreciate you a billion. Like a billion. <laughs> a billion. A billion. A billion. A billion. A billion. A billion. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, I'm out of here.